everybody, my name is Alicia. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to make a video about, you know, what math you're going to learn in LPN school, that sort of situation. So I am in an LPN program right now. I have about three months left of it. We are currently on Christmas break. So I have been through the pharmacology class. I have already done all of the math things that we are going to encounter. So I actually have my book in front of me and I'm just going to go through and just highlight the pieces of math that we learned in school. So the first thing was, um, you know, just like basic calculations. So we did ratios, uh, fractions, percentages, and decimals. So we went over adding decimals, subtracting decimals, multiplying decimals, ratios, conversions, lots of ratios, lots of ratios. Um, <clears throat> after that, we went through, hang on, let me get through these, mm, measurement systems. So these are your conversions. So you're going to go pounds to kilograms, kilograms to pounds, ounces to kilograms. You're also going to do like um, like uh, household measurements. They have those in here as well. So it's like uh, cups, pints, ounces. They have teacup, one teacup. I have never encountered one teacup, but that is a thing in here as well. Um, interesting. Gallons. You know, a lot of these I haven't actually seen af like past learning it in this section of pharmacology. Um, but I will say like milligrams, grams, milliliters, pounds, kilograms. You'll see those all of the time. Um, those are like the key, the key things. So like we had to learn, you know, 12 ounces to how many milliliters and stuff like that. And then we come to the actual like dosage calculations. So as far as dosage calculations, there are, you know, there's multiple different ways to get the answer that you want as with like everything. So for dosage calculations, they have the ratio and proportion, formulation, dimensional analysis, and fractions. So I use the dimensional analysis. Um, for me, that's the easiest one. I learned it in high school in my chemistry class, we use dimensional analysis. Um, the formulation method, however, is like the most popular. I think it's the one that I revert to whenever it's a very simple um, equation, because you, you pretty much just take D over H times Q, where D is the desired dose, which is what's on hand, like what you have and then Q is the quantity of liquid, tablets, capsules, that sort of thing. So if it was like a 10 milligram tablet, you know, the Q would be your one tablet. So say the doctor orders 20 milligrams of such and such medicine and you have on hand 10 milligram tablets. So it would be uh, 20 divided by 10 times one. So, you know, you get that you're going to give them two tablets from that. So that's the that's the one that everyone pretty much goes to. Um, and that is dosage calculation. You know, like if they give you something in grams and you need to convert it to milligrams, then that would happen and then you would do your dosage calc. Um, other than that, it's very, very straightforward. Um, approaching it can be confusing and I understand that because math itself is confusing but once you kind of get past that hump you know it's it, it makes sense like once you get it to click um, once you find like which of these methods works for you I think that the math becomes much less intimidating um, but I completely understand it being a fear with the program because I feel like whenever I was like going through watching the videos before applying, I, I saw so much about like dosage calculations and the situations where you would use dosage calculations and they always made it seem like, you know, it was a life or death situation. And I know that those exist. You know, I understand that there will be instances where it's 
very clearly a, I need to figure out how much medicine to give this person like right now, like two seconds ago, I need to have this done. But I think we're going to encounter it so many times before that, you know, like through school, through tests, through clinicals, through all of this stuff that whenever we get to that point, hopefully it's not so bad. Um, having said that though, my program, um, we didn't really like dosage calc was not a massive deal for us. Like we got a little side lecture for it because we requested that. We didn't go over it for very long. Uh, however, you know, past the dosage calc test, they have added a couple questions into like every exam just to keep it refreshed on our brain. So if your program doesn't do that, then I would recommend going back and just doing a couple practice questions, you know, whenever you're in a module for something, just throw in some dosage calc while you're studying, you know? Um, beyond pharmacology, every single class has medication involved. So it makes it easy for you to pick a medicine and just practice dosage calculation problems. So if you have any questions, if you have any recommendations for videos, if you have anything you want me to talk about, then, you know, comment it down below and I will pop out a video. Um, but yeah, math sucks. Uh, I hope everyone enjoys their holidays. I think we're supposed to be getting snow, which I'm pretty pumped about, but um, stay safe. Follow me on my Instagram, send me DMs, ask me questions. I'm an open book. I wanna help you as much as I can. Um, but just understand that everything's based off of my experiences, my program, but I will do the absolute best I can to give any advice that I can get out of this brain. Um, but yeah, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching my video. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff, and I will see you guys in the next one.